Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today's tutorial will be covering how to modify some files in your reassembly to unlock new things, new features, and just have more fun with the game. So the first thing you want to do is open up reassembly and play it a little bit. Make sure all of the files get loaded in. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close reassembly. And the first thing that we'll do is we will unlock these four factions, the Spiky Plant, Contestant, Flies, and Borg, because they are currently hidden factions. And these six, you can also choose to um, unlock instantly instead of having to kill a capital ship. So go ahead and close reassembly. And go ahead and open up File Explorer and go to your program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Reassembly, and Data. Once you get there, it should look something like this, although maybe a little less crowded. And find something that says factions.lua. Open this up with Notepad or Notepad++, and it should look like this. If it does not, it probably looks like two giant lines. Unfortunately, it's, a, it's the same thing as this, just it's not organized as well and you're gonna have to find all of these things in there. So what you're gonna wanna do is have playable equals two comma space, and you're gonna copy that from Terrans up here, and you're gonna paste that right behind the Borgs, the Flies, the Contestants, and the Spiky Plants. That will instantly unlock those four factions that are not currently playable. And then if you have any of them that are still locked, like the reds for instance, that you want to unlock, go ahead and change playable equals 1 to playable equals 2. And this will instantly unlock the faction as well. So I'm going to leave it at 1 because I liked to actually unlock it. So now go ahead and save your file, your factions.lua. And you may want to save an original as well in case something gets screwed up. So then go ahead and close this out, and go ahead and open up another file explorer, and this time go to this PC, local disk, users, your user, saved games, reassembly, data, and in here it should look something like this. And go ahead and open up zars.txt. So zars.txt should look like this, and how this works is uh, these are all basically arguments, and these arguments are commented out if there's a space and a, um, what do you call it, a uh, pound symbol. And so to act, let's say I want to change this argument, I would change the value and then remove the pound and the space. And so there's a few of those that I would recommend doing. So the agent count is a little bit more fun if you have 10 of them. So I go ahead and remove this pound and the space. And then scrolling down, we have a few more that I would also recommend modifying, such as your K constructor block limit. You can see I already removed the pound and the space, and I set this number really, really high. I would recommend doing that. Although if you build to this limit, it will probably crash your computer but it will allow it to run tournaments if you set this higher, and that's the only thing that it does. And now scrolling down, we have a few more of these to hit. So don't worry about this one. This one's part of creating your own faction, which I can do a tutorial on later if you guys want it. And scrolling down a little bit more, we've got um, the point max. I, would all, I set mine to a million. Uh, you can set yours to whatever you want. It's 8,000 by default which is kind of sad, honestly. I consider that like a small ship now, because I build stuff that is... My average ship is probably about 30,000 now, and it's a lot of fun to do in tournaments. And then scrolling down, we, uh, let's see... We have the Tournament Max Author. I set mine to 100, that way I can compete with up to 100 of my friends. And I set my Max Radius to, well... A lot bigger. <laughs> and then we also have the K tournament max pool. I said it's 50. And the skip unqualified ships is set to zero. That way, any ships that it considers unqualified will still fight. And then as we go down some more, I didn't, for some of my tournament factions, I did not want to play for hours upon hours to work up 
a ton of C in order to buy more P. And so what I did was I set my wormhole C to 500,000 in order to uh, basically give me all the money I would need pretty much instantly. And I also set my wormhole count higher, that way I could go through multiple wormholes and still have a way to reset my world if I wanted to in the end. K-Write blocks, you also don't have to modify if you don't want to, but this this one is for creating your own faction. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. But the other ones I would definitely play around with and find a you know happy balance for what you want. Well, that concludes today's tutorial. If you want to see a future tutorial on how to get every part in the game into one of your builds, then please say so in the comments below. And remember to like and subscribe to get back to basics.